Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that may go is to make you better at editing. What you're seeing right now is a neon light animation, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how you can do it. So let's begin. So I have this video on my timeline, I'm selecting it and I'm going to the fusion tab. Now by pressing control space, I'm gonna add three nodes, which are background, paint and soft glow. I'm gonna connect them to each other. After I did that, I'm adding a merge node in between media in and media out. Then I'm connecting the soft glow to the merge node and then selecting the background node which is on top and going to the inspector and I'm reducing the alpha values to zero. That way I can start drawing right over the clip. And to start drawing you need to click on the paint node. On the inspector you can change the color and you can go also to brush controls which you can change the softness and the size of the brush. For this video I'm gonna use a small size brush and a big softness. And one of the most important things about this effect is at the bottom of the inspector, which is stroke duration. It's pretty much straightforward. The higher the value of that is gonna determine the duration of your strokes, aka the drawing on the video. To make the neon light, we're gonna use the glowing note. So I'm clicking on the soft glow note and I'm gonna increase the glow size to make it more shinier. And now we can start drawing. I'm selecting the paint node, moving the marker of the clip on the timeline on the part where the fingers start to appear. And I'm moving frame by frame and I'm drawing over the tip of the finger. You can use the right key of the keyboard to be precisive so that you know you're skipping one frame only exactly every time. And while I'm drawing always at the tip of the finger, the stroke duration is always gonna remove the drawings of the earlier frames. So in my case, it is gonna be displayed only what I have drawn in the past four frames. And now you can see what I just made. And if you find this video useful, make sure to like it, subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions or feedback and see you in the next video.